we got involved in the, uh, the desert boot back in around about the early 50s. And up to then, uh, the, the tannery had been doing ovine, which is small skins, uh, goat skins and sheep skins. And they decided to move into a different area when my father, Ernest Crack, joined the company. And when he came, he started doing bovine leathers and wanted to go to get business in the shoe industry. And Clark's obviously a famous brand, and that's how he started. And the first process it goes through is we, we recondition it. It's generally bought in the wet blue. Uh, we bring them into the process and, and we rehydrate them. Uh, and we, we wash them in water and then we put them through a sanding machine um, to squeeze out the moisture and flatten them and then we select them into the right substances to make the different grades of leather. So we then shave them through the shaving machine. That's a particularly skilled operation because we shave both sides, we shave the flesh side and then we shave the nap side and th this gives you the presentation of the nap to make the eventual desert boot. After we've done that uh, we weigh the leather into batches and select for light and dark shades and then we put them into the into the wet process dye house. And after the leather comes out of the dye drum and we're happy with the colour, we then dry it through a tunnel drying machine. After we've got the leather dried we then have to bring it through uh, from a three-dimensional skin into a flat surface and uh, the right softness and temper to make the suede that we want. Uh, subsequently we then buff the leather and this we do with <coughs> various buffing paper grits. After we've buffed the leather, finally buffed the leather, we then have to put it through our own design brushing, phosphor bronze brushing machines to raise the nap. And finally the leather goes in for selection and gets selected and boxed up and dispatched to Clark's. Uh, there's a lot of quality control within that process to make sure all the way through the process that we use the parameters that we, we know work from that product. The first ones to develop this, this technique, this, this added work that we do, and I doubt if anybody quite does this the way that we do it, and, and it is actually known, as far as I'm aware, uh, as an English suede, uh, because of this very tight nut that we're able to make by the techniques I've just mentioned. We've used the same basic technique for making the Bronto suede, uh, since we started in the 50s. But as time has gone by, because of various influences, we have had to, to obviously make changes. Some of those changes have been chemical, environmentally. But overall, the, the basic pr process has remained intact. I can't see Britain in the future being involved in, again, in mass shoe manufacture. But in terms of uh, design and innovation, I'm sure this is where we will still be one of the leading countries in design and uh, shoes in the future.